In today's video, we will be discussing another traditional Cambodian dance. This is the second video in our series where we explore the stories behind each of the dances. If you haven't seen the first video about the beautiful Absara dances, please be sure to check it out. We've put the link in the description box below. The blessing dance, known as Robam Jun Bo in Khmer, is traditionally the first dance to be performed at the beginning of a ceremony. As anyone who has ever been to Cambodia knows, the Khmer people are a very friendly, welcoming and kind people who enjoy nothing more than welcoming guests. This dance is a greeting and a blessing on the audience. Just as most of the modern Cambodian dances, the Blessing Dance was created by Her Majesty Queen Sisawa Kosama, who wished to form a dance that could reflect the warm, thoughtful character of the Khmer nation. The Blessing Dance was first performed to cleanse the royal palace of evil spirits and bless the royal kingdom. At that time, it was performed only for the king and royal family the leaders of the country and their official guests. However, part of Queen Sisawak Kosama's mission was not only to revive the art of the traditional dancing, but also to move it out of the palace and disseminate it. Today, this dance is performed to bless events and welcome guests in many happy formal occasions, such as weddings and opening ceremonies to bring good luck and prosperity to all present. The Blessing Dance is an established dance in the repertoire of Cambodian classical ballet and is often performed to mark special holidays in Cambodia. The dance integrates the slow, graceful and elegant movements Khmer Ballet is known for with that of props. The dancers hold golden goblets full of flower blossoms such as jasmine, lotus or rumdul blossoms. These beautiful flowers are representative of blessings from the gods. Towards the end of the dance, the dancers, in perfect unison, carefully take these flower blossoms and gently toss them out towards their guests to symbolize the blessings of the gods falling upon the audience. The performing dance troupe usually has only female dancers. They wear elaborately embroidered costumes of different colours. The detailing on the clothing is gold. They wear a heavy sash, golden headpiece and belt, with flowers in their hair and bangles about their wrists and ankles. The dancers always perform barefoot. The dancers are said to represent the angels, Devata, in ancient Khmer mythology. The dance is performed by an odd number of dancers, sometimes three, five or seven young women or girls. They move gracefully across the stage, bestowing good health, happiness, prosperity and success on those watching. It is always an enchanting way to start the evening's performance.
Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed learning about the blessing dance, please give us a like and subscribe to be notified as soon as we upload the next video in this series. Until next time, goodbye.